when we look at Western mythology, uh, to where does it come from? You know, Venus and Mars, they're archetypes, but there is someone who came before them, and that is Isis and Osiris. These are from Egyptian mythology. They were first man, first woman, brother, sister, husband, wife, and first rulers in the human family, first king and queen. And Isis was known as, all the goddesses descend from Isis, and she was called the goddess of 10,000 names. And Osiris was worshipped because it was his fertility through the flood, annual flooding of the Nile that allowed the Egyptian civilization to exist. In my tribute to Isis and Osiris, I call them first couple. She who made the elements and sings them into place, dream caster, spell weaver, ever living Isis, call your beloved. He who summons the rain, then rises and falls, blue snake that when he passes, greens the desert, ever the Nile, ever Osiris, answer the call. She who blooms lotuses in our hearts and nurtures our trust under sheltering wings, he who hoists the sun up every morning, journeys through the underworld and then rises again. Come together, divine couple, show us the way. You two, stars in the timeless sky womb, twin souls who tumble to earth to drink in the pleasures of the body, the sheen of sweat on the cheek and perfume of the breath. You are fountains of light who flow one into the other and dark currents that wrestle the creative forces of evolution, racing past the sprouting banks of river time. From the mingling of your essences, you birth new possibilities for us and teach us how to love infinitely this blessed land, our brother, our sister, and the miracle of life. You, first great god Osiris, and you, Isis of 10,000 names, are the sacred marriage of spirit and matter and the beloveds of our souls. <laughs>